My name is Mohammed Rabbani. I am the head of CAGE, which is an international NGO. Over the past few years, CAGE has been closely monitoring and documenting a state-led program of repression that has been unfolding in France against its Muslim religious minority. This policy is unashamedly named the systematic obstruction policy, and its express aim, according to Minister Darmanan, is to terrorize the Muslim community. The result has been a sustained attack on and the curtailment of civil society. According to the French government's own data, in less than four years, 24,000 Muslim-owned associations, charities and businesses have been targeted through unjustified investigations. 718 of them have been forced to close. 46 million euros have been confiscated from the Muslim community. In order to continue this program of systematic obstruction unimpeded, the French government has censored and in some cases criminalized critical views. In November 2020, it forcibly closed down the human rights NGO CCIF for its alleged crime of accusing the government of Islamophobia. Similarly, other civil society groups such as Baraka City and Nawa Publishing House have also been closed down. Civil liberties activists such as Yasir Luwati and others have found themselves constantly harassed through artificial legal procedures. Due to this racist government agenda, France has joined the company of China and India who are both also carrying out religious persecution of an entire Muslim minority. France has made the fatal error of adopting the playbook of far-right racists, scapegoating minorities in order to deflect from its internal regression. This is a dangerous path, and if not corrected, it is set to repeat the horrors that Europe experienced only 70 years ago. In conclusion, CAGE demands the French government immediately take the following steps. Number one, decommission state-led propaganda agencies such as the SGCI PDR. Such agencies create the mood music for anti-Muslim hate crimes to pervade across society. Number two, immediately put an end to the systematic obstruction policy. Number three, recognize the legal existence of minorities and apply Article 27 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. And number four, abolish all discriminatory laws that single out Muslim communities. The 2004 ban on hijab, the 2010 ban on niqab, and the recently enacted anti-separatism law. Thank you.